Hello, this is Erica with the Purple Quilt Company, and I want to thank you for tuning into my channel. This is my Finish It Friday video for Friday, October 18th, 2024. So if you want to see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. I'm very excited to share what I've been working on this week. We have been on fall break, and so I got like just a little bit more done than I might normally do. I just spent a little bit of time each day sewing and it was pretty productive. I'm really excited that I got one almost finished to share and then we'll get to talk about scraps a little bit. But first let's go upstairs and check out the near finish. Here is the big finish of the week. I am super proud of this quilt. This is the baby quilt that is made with sports jerseys and I have put it on the long arm, quilted it, just took it off the long arm yesterday. So I'm really excited about it. Let's uh, zoom in on the quilting here. The pattern that I used is the African Samba quilt pattern. It turned out so great. I did have a few issues with, um, with the quilting of it, but overall I'm happy with how it turned out. It looks awesome to me and it wasn't overall it wasn't too difficult to quilt um i put some minky on the back and i'm not sure if i'm going to be a permanent fan of minky but i do love the way it quilted up so i'll flip it over so you can see that on the back look at how good the quilting shows up on that minky and i used a gray i think it's called um Oh, I don't remember what the name of this color is. I have to go look it up. But it's kind of a medium gray. And for this quilt, since our primary colors in the quilt, in the jerseys were blue, white, red, and or blue, black, red, and gray with a little bit of white, um, I, we put a blue border. And then I have the gray backing and the binding is going to be red and black. So I will get this bound. Hopefully I can have it ready. Um, it would be really nice to get it bound today. I'll see if I can do that, but I would love to have it ready by this weekend to give to my customer. It's gonna be so great. I'm really proud of how it turned out and I'm excited to put my next quilt up on the long arm and see how it does. I am looking forward to getting that um, jersey quilt completely finished and pa passed on to the customer. The binding is here. So hopefully by this weekend, it can be completed. Now I dug into my scraps and we'll start today with my block from the block a day book. I've been doing several um, videos about the block a day book. And so I pulled the calico puzzle block this week. I used my two and a half inch squares to create this little calico puzzle block. And then I made one with my five inch squares. I was looking for blocks in the book that I would not have to cut new fabric from. Um, so I used my scraps that I have already pre-cut, my two and a half inch squares and my five inch squares. So these are my two blocks. That link is going to be here in the I cards and in the description box if you have not checked that out. I was a little bit um, bored one day and I pulled out an older project that I have that's kind of to the side and I want to make a string quilt with navies, greens, and blues, or no, navies, greens, and grays. And so I have two blocks that I created with this. This is using some um, not necessarily my style fabric as foundations. So I have these two blocks that I made this week. That gives me actually a total of eight blocks. And I'll put a picture here of all eight blocks that I have done. My goal is to create something with these blocks. And I want to make 30. Right now, they're uh, 10 inches unfinished. So 30 blocks will give me a nice sized um, quilt. So I'm going to put these up here too. They have... They have been so much fun. I love making the string blocks, especially on that foundation. It seems to be 
working well for me. Um, now for my other, um, this is like my 10 minute a day project, my sevens and nines blocks. Again, I'll put a link in the iCards and in the description box so you can go check out this super simple block. I have red and green two and a half inch squares and, um, and neutral two and a half inch squares and then some two and a half inch strips that I am stitching together into these little blocks. This week I made five. I did two 10 minute sessions and then sort of a five minute session. So I have one odd man out block, but they are still pretty cool. So um, this is all my scrap stuff so far. And then um, my leader ender project for this year is the Jacob's Ladder block. And I was able to complete one of these blocks this week. Now this is a kind of an ongoing project. So it took me longer than a week to, um, to put this block together because I do it as leader enders in between other things like this. So again, it took a little bit longer than a week, but I just finished it this week and I love the way it turned out. And I've already started the next uh, Jacob's Ladder block that's gonna be a part of this project. And just like the, um, the string blocks, my goal is to get 30 of these blocks made. And I'm using a variety of different color combinations, but my neutral, my background is gonna be the gray on all of these. So I am looking forward to getting those done. I am not sure how many blocks I've completed, um, maybe 13 or 14, I'm not really sure. Um, but I might get them out and take a picture of them. I'm not sure yet, but let's put this one up here as well. So this is all of the projects that I've worked on. Well, one more, um, for my giant Jacob's ladder quilt, I have the top completed and I talked about that last week, but this week I made the binding for it. It is going to be a flange binding. I don't know how much contrast you can see on the camera, but let me come close so that you can see it. I hope it shows up nicely against the yellow border, but I'm not really, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. And I've decided to um, piece a backing for it. And so I have some of those pieces here and I've pulled a ton of fabric that's, well, not a ton, but I've pulled some fabric as well over there. There's a stack of it um, in blues and yellows and neutrals that will go towards creating this quilt back. It's going to be big 12 and a half inch rows um, and six of them to make a backing that's going to be big enough to support the quilt. So hopefully um, at some point I can get that done because I do want to get that quilt on the long arm, um, but I needed to make sure that I had the binding done first. Now I can concentrate on the backing after I put this binding on the other quilt. So there's a lot of little um, pieces going on, but I'm so excited to be this close and to have so much accomplished. Even, even these little bitty blocks are um, going towards a bigger project. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing all these little things kind of come together. And I love that I can kind of pick and choose what I want to work on and that it doesn't take a long time to get any one thing done. Um, let me know in the comments what you're working on, what you're excited about. If there's anything that you would like to see on the channel, please let me know, leave it in the comments. I love um, hearing what you guys want to know and I'm interested in gathering some new ideas for these videos. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.